Hello guys, this is Jesus Fernandez and here's a new tutorial for Redshift. Some of you have been asking me on how to make a CDEP pass and how to control it with Redshift. First, this is the scene that we are going to use, it's a basic scene and some alpha, some pain effects. You can download this scene on my pattern if you want to play with it, just go for the pattern, click on the link and everything is going to be there. So if you want to create a CDEP pass, you will need to go for the AUBs and here with a double click, you can create your dev pass, select the output connections on the name, seed is the default because Nuke is going to read this one as the dev layer per default on the dev channel. Format, you can choose between XSR, OpenXSR, TIFF, PNG, Targa and JPEG, bit per channel. And also you can select on full, min, max depth and center samples. For Nuke, it's preferred to go with min depth, so for you to know. Also, you can control the set depth with the clipping planes from your camera. How? Okay, if you select your camera, the far clip plane and the near clip plane are going to be the ones that defines the white and black values. If you have, let's say, a thousand, you're going to have your white value further from the camera. And if you bring your value closer, you're going to control everything that way. If you don't want to control the values with your camera, with the clipping planes, you will need to normalize from zero to one. So the further the distance from the camera, the white, the value, and the closer the distance from the camera, the darker the value. So it's your choice if you decide to work with normalized intensity or not. Let's generate the first pass. Let's work with OpenXSR and the workflow for either Photoshop or the workflow for Nuke. So let's render the scene. Wait, let's create both at the same time. So let's create a second dev pass. And this one, it's going to be done as a target. And I'm going to say that this one is for Photoshop. Render for both. So here's the render. How to check your dev passes. Okay, on your project, if you set your project, you can go for images and on the temp file, you're going to see your render, the XSR and the target. So let's go and open this one in Photoshop and here, if you want to update this file, just render again with different settings and update this folder and you can see the difference. Also, if you want to open this guy on Nuke, let's create a read one and let's open again a new project images temp or where you have everything. Let's open the XSR. I'm going to connect everything and you're going to be able to see your information on the dev channel. You're not going to be able to see anything for the RGB channels, but on the dev channel. And if you want to control how your clipping planes work, you just need to configure everything from here and reload the images from either side. Okay, so that will be it. Thank you everybody and this is how you work with Redshift to generate your dev pass. Remember that you can generate more than one pass from your channels and if you don't want to work with your clipping planes, you can change to normalize. And if you are going to work with Nuke, always try to use the min depth filter.